Hello guys, how are you all? I'm going to show you in this video a little trick that I know during the mission of Azura Nebula Rescue. For this mission I'm going to use a ship that is really fast in maneuverability. That means that it's going to turn a lot quicker and really fast. And I'm going to use the Jemadar attack ship for this mission. As you can see it's no consoles whatsoever going to be utilized. Ready starship and engage. This mission is all about being sneaky and not having to deal with those Tholian ships that are guarding the ships that you need to rescue, the Romulan ships. And I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Now, for this mission, I just joined in a bug. It doesn't really matter what your um, teammates are going to do because most of the time they are just going to uh, um, they're go trying to Our help you they're going limit. to try to Stay help focused. you but actually it's it's counterproductive what they're doing because you kind of need to be here on your own so that's a good thing that there is a B5 over there so they can go over there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duck underneath the asteroid. It's a little bit of a sneaky, sneaky mission right now. And right here. There it is. What you need to be um, uh, using in this mission is about 8 kilometers distance from the ship that you're saving, that you're disabling the tractor beam that's being held. And as you can see, all of those Tholian ships, they're not attacking me because I don't have aggro on them. I'm not firing on them, so they are not attacking me. And that's why I'm using this ship. Because it maneuvers really fast. As you can see, I disabled those tractor beams in no time. Now let's go all the way there to number two. Now those guys are still working at number five over there. Is there it is. Number five is gone. Now you can do this mission normally, and I really recommend doing this mission normally. I don't recommend doing this because this is a little bit sneaky. It's not the way this mission is intended to be played, obviously. But when you do this mission, like almost every day, you kind of get like tired of it. And you can do this mission really fast this way. And you can save a little bit more ships if you do it this way and not having to deal with those Tholians. Look at that. Look how fast I'm disabling those tractor beams. Warbird is escaping. Uh, kind of forget where the asteroid is. It's all over here. And doing it like this, and really doesn't matter how good your ship is, how good your weapons are, or anything like that, because as you can see. 
I don't have any consoles and I'm not even using my weapon, so. What happened? Where is the ship? Oh, there it is. Just make sure you're within eight kilometers of it and you can use the disabling the tractor beam ability. Now, what you don't need, and I hope I don't have to show it to you guys, what you don't need is your teammates that are going to help because when they start attacking those Tholians ships, they usually have beam fired at will. And what that does is that going to attack every ship that's going to be in the vicinity of it. And when you are in combat, you can't actually disable the tractor beam. Because the, the disabling tractor beam ability skill, whatever it's called, it's going to reset every time you are in combat. So when they start attacking you, you're going to enter combat and it's going to reset. So actually you don't need your teammates to do this. It's kind of a little bit counterproductive if you're working with your teammates in this mission. Look at this guy, I got lots of buffs. So same thing over here. Oh, a little bit too fast. Going down a little bit. Warning. Ship is under See, attack. this is what I mean. Each time that they hit you, you need your um, disabling tractor beam, like skill ability, whatever it's called. It's going to reset, so you don't need that. But this guy's got some good DPS, I think, because it's. A Hapax Warbird yeah. is escaping. A Warbird is escaping. He's killing them really fast, and I should say on his own, because I didn't help him. Don't you think this ship looks awesome with the Riemann set? I put in the remit set, remit shields and all that. I think it looks gorgeous like that. Oh. We are here already. Now I'm just positioning the ship like outside of the out of the range so I can see where I need to go because I really don't want to egg girl those ships look I mean I'm right now I'm in their weapon range because in Star Trek Online you need to be inside 10 kilometers and then you're like inside weapon range but they're not attacking because I'm not posing like as, as an aggro on them right I'm not aggroing them I'm not a threat that's good Oh, don't come, don't come. Oh, man. This is my teammate right now. That's gonna make him start a war over here. Don't. Oh, my God. Warning. See? Ship is under attack. Uh, anyway. It kind of worked out good because I already saved that ship. So there wasn't really a reason for them to to help out but anyway it's all good we're getting lots of points over here lots of ship being uh, being saved I'm just gonna do this over and over and over again you can do this on all of those on all of the um, uh, asteroids, all of the points that you can save a ship. 
because they all have like the same kind of layout on the asteroid it's kind of weird that way but I don't think they intended it to be like this just a little bit of a uh, a uh, working as intended feature Yeah, it's good. I mean, you can you can use it, or you don't. It's up to you. It's up to you. You know. I like to when I'm in a rush and I want to get my eight thousand lithium daily. You know, you can do it like this whenever. You, what, what doesn't matter what kind of uh, captain ability you have. Where or like captain skill or tree it doesn't really matter if you're engineering and you're like low level uh, or you're science and high level or tactical whatever it doesn't really matter because you're not using any of your abilities you're just using full impulse to get from A to B and then just tucking underneath the asteroid and that's it so you're kind of taking out all of that equation Just make sure you're within 8,000 kilometers of it, and that's it. And just disable tractor beam, disable tractor beam, that's it. Atalus Warbird is escaping. Sneaky. It's a sneaky mission. <laughs> but it, uh, it works out, you know. It's all pretty good. Warbird is escaping. Now you can see why I'm using a Gemini attack ship right now, because of its maneuverability. If I had like one of those big ship like cruisers or anything like that, it's gonna take forever to get from A to B. Now I just can, you know, I can like zip over from point to point to point, right? And help out a lot. I really hope we get like a uh, a dreadnought, all those uh, those big ones over here. I think we did. No, nope, too late. Warning, ship is under attack. Now see what happens. Each time that I get hit, I can't disable the tractor. Because they're gonna fire on me torpedoes and it's going to disable it. See that? But it took care of them really fast. This guy's a pro. Mr. Jade Food Bar Incorporative. So. Okay. We got two of those nice anyway that's it for this mission because it's gonna end in 20 seconds and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how much the rewards are going to be I'm not saying it's like going to make that big of a difference but if you're like don't have a really good build and you don't have the right weapons you can't really take care of business the way it should be you know can do this doesn't matter and your teammates are you know kind of going to help you out going to help you out but uh, you know it, it works you know before they uh, use it to your your advantage before they you know uh, try to fix it because it's really good and uh, yeah you can do it without even firing a single weapon because you saw me I didn't fire anything right so let's get the reward. Now I haven't done uh, any of the uh, Romulan mark package missions that you get, so I'm gonna get this. I think it's gonna give me a little bit more of a boost. Let's see how much we got. 118 and nine fleet marks. So that's that's good, right? That's not bad for doing a mission like I don't know, like 20 minutes and not even firing one time. So that's for me. That's 
for me that's a-okay <laughs> right anyway guys thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video